नमः समय साराय स्वानुभूत्या कासते चित्वाय भावाय सर्वभावाचिदे I bow to the purest soul absolutely free from the karmic matter whose attribute is consciousness that can only be known and revealed by the self to the self that is all knowing which means it knows all the living and non living substances of the universe at once in their totality i bow to the absolute soul to the god soul beneath the layers of physicality lies the realm of emotions just as physicality demonstrates temporariness the emotions to keep changing their intensity aha underneath all these lies the real and unchangeable me namaskar friends since we started studying this text the teacher has been mentioning that the two eternal possessions of consciousness are knowledge and perception everything else is temporary and that which is temporary cannot be the soul we may understand the same teaching the other way around that which comes goes fluctuates or keeps changing its degrees cannot be the soul and the soul is that who only knows and perceives all these variations you may pause this video here and take a few moments to ponder the things that keep changing name a few through your experiences the beauty of human intellect is that it can find the whole truth with the help of a glimpse in the context of possessions today let us try to identify what we think of as our possessions the teacher describes the consciousness identifies itself with two types of physical possessions one that is intimately bound to the soul like the body and the objects not so intimately bound with it such as wealth we all know and will agree that our wealth be it our property jewelry or assets in any other form are our possessions we can't deny the fact that even our servants the utensils we use the vehicle we drive and the other objects kept in our house to make life smooth are our possessions as well if we have a philosophical bent of mind we would consider our body as our possession too right now comes a unique lesson as we move forward to the teachings of samay sar where our teacher says next the soul also falsely identifies with its psychical possessions the psychical possessions are those which are actually not the attributes of the soul but due to its wrong belief the soul thinks of them as itself they are the emotions such as anger greed lust pride and the rest hmm interesting isn't it Before moving further into today's lesson let us pause again to ponder if this teaching makes sense we must note that here we are contemplating permanence versus temporary though the meaning of the word psychical is related to mental abilities that cannot be explained by science but our teacher means not only the mental abilities but also all our emotions If we feel stuck and confused let us now take a few examples one might be angry at someone or some situation one might be going through a period of grief caused by a near one's demise or any other factor 
वन माइट बी लाफिंग हार्ड और फीलिंग मॉकफुल और सरकास्टिक अबाउट एन इवेंट और परसोना नो मैटर फॉर वट इंटेंसिटी एंड ड्यूरेशन वन इज गोइंग थ्रू अ फीलिंग इर रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ वट द टाइप ऑफ अ स्पेसिफिक इमोशन इज सूनर और लेटर एवरी इमोशन एवरी फीलिंग बी इट हैप्पीनेस और रिमोर्सफुलनेस लीव्स अस एंड देन वी फाइंड अवर सेल्व लेफ्ट विद द एसेंस दैट सटल प्लेटफॉर्म अगेन ऑन विच एवरी इमोशन वॉज टेकिंग प्लेस Hence we notice that even these emotions are not the innate attributes of the soul but they get induced by the circumstances happening in our surroundings but surely we know all the degrees and intensities of all the emotions hence we must not consider our emotions as us instead they should be treated as occasional visitors of the soul we must also keep in mind that as we evolve through gaining knowledge our identification with emotions becomes lesser leading to a clearer perception so key takeaways from today's lesson are one there are two types of possessions physical and psychical material possessions are again of two types one that is intimately bound with the consciousness and the other which can be easily identified as outer possessions all our emotions dilemmas confusions frustrations annoyances etc are our psychical possessions two possessions no matter how close they seem to be associated with us are temporary in nature and keep changing their degrees for example our bodies keep changing as life flows into the illusion of time three Beneath all the physical and psychical possessions lies our natural essence which is the actual observer of everything there is. 4 Knowledge and perception keep changing their degrees. 2 However, they are our real and eternal possessions. 5 Through our free will we may choose to keep enhancing our knowledge and perception by reading and listening to good books and self contemplation. Let us now move ahead to the last part of our talk which is the meditation. Close your eyes. Try relaxing every muscle of your body and ponder the following. I am the permanence to which everything else visits. in different forms degrees and variations as even my body keeps changing its forms as life flows forward i am not even my body i am not even my emotions be it anger or love I only need them to live a practical life. I have a much deeper and vaster existence than I can ever imagine. My spiritual journey is beyond them. Through these teachings, I willfully choose not to identify my real essence with my possessions be they physical or psychical i choose to perceive beyond physicality you may now open your eyes whenever feel comfortable with this i take your leave friends have a blissful week ahead take care namaskar and goodbye